Hi, I am Piero, Technical Director of Checkpoint, and I'm here today to show you some of the features of the new Penetrator 18.0. In this version of the Penetrator, we focused on the scan report. We have totally redesigned the report engine and made improvements to the report format by adding new charts, new tables, and more colors to display data in a more readable way. The first new feature is about report branding. This function is available through the advanced menu, setup, report branding, and allows you to upload a company logo and to customize your company name. The company logo should be as near as possible to the specification. Once you have done so, your scan reports will be branded with your logo and company name. Here we can see an example of report with the logo I have uploaded before. So we can see the logo on the header of each page and on the first page. On the footer of each page you can see the company name. If you don't upload a company logo and you don't customize your company name, the default set point logo and company name will be used. If we look at a sample report, we can discover all improvements one by one. If we click here on view scan, we shall obtain an inline report in PDF format which gives us the same output as the downloadable report. Here we have our report in the web browser. If we go to the executive summary, we can see that the list of IPs that have been scanned is displayed in a table format. Below here we can see the scan profiles, so we can read the name of the profiles that have been used to perform this scan. On next page we have a chart that summarizes the number of vulnerabilities that were found in this scan. Then we can see the result of the trace routes. This table is much more readable than before. Here we have in fact an immediate view of hopes, IPs, time in milliseconds and in a graphical format. Then we can also see that to display ports and services we have used the same format. Then we have on next page version banners that are displayed one by one with banner name, port, details and solution. Then, if we go straight to the vulnerabilities, we can see that the report shows a chart with a summary of vulnerabilities that have been found and a list of details with the same color in the title as the level of the vulnerability. And this list is ordered by level of vulnerabilities. At the bottom of the report, we have a new feature, the Gap Analysis, which is an analysis of the difference IP by IP between this scan and the previous one. This chapter is automatically added by the penetrator when the same scan has been performed at least twice. We have first of all the list of sold vulnerabilities, then the list of new vulnerabilities, if any. Then we have a chart that summarizes the situation showing the difference between a scan and the previous one by vulnerability level high, 
medium and low. With the new report engine we are now able to make improvements faster than ever. For example, some improvements are already under development in our labs such as a new one-page report, a new paragraph with the list of offline IPs found during a scan, geolocalization for trace route, and more features will come next such as adding watermarks to report pages and so on. Well, I hope you appreciate these improvements. Thank you for watching this video and see you next time. Bye bye.